Field and Stream presents the 2012 Heroes of Conservation. We selected six finalists and Toyota will award $5,000 to each hero and a new 2012 Toyota Tundra to the winner in October. Hey, I'm Eddie Nickens, Editor-at-Large for Field and Stream Magazine. There are a handful of limestone spring creeks in South Central Pennsylvania that are famous the world over for big, brawling wild trout. And among these famous waters, Falling Spring Branch near Chambersburg is a crown jewel. But stretches of this famous stream had fallen on hard times. Over the last decade, Heroes of Conservation finalist Rod Cross has marshaled manpower, equipment, and volunteers for a stream restoration project at Falling Springs that has pushed the fishing off the charts. As a longtime president of the Falling Spring chapter of Trout Unlimited, Cross helped secure more than $1 million in grant funding to restore more than a mile of this historic creek. Rod is a good leader, good motivator. You get a project like this going under his tutelage, and things happen. But his dedication to conservation doesn't stop at the end of a 7X tippet. For more than 16 years, Cross has mentored youth in Trout Unlimited's River Conservation and Youth Program, and he spent weekend after weekend teaching combat wounded veterans how to cast a tiny fly with some of the biggest trout in the East. You have to remember, this is all volunteer work that he's doing. He's not getting paid for any of it. I hope more people ask me for help. You know, say, hey, you know, we saw you guys did this. Can you do this? Yeah, we can. I hope we can. You know, here's how we're going to try anyway. He's been so paramount in starting the chapters back in Western Pennsylvania to helping this chapter flourish. I want to be old and useful. <laughs> Cross's project at Falling Spring Branch transformed this stretch of stream from a slow, wide, pond-like creek with barely enough cover for fish to a faster, narrower branch with the deep channels, deep holes, and woody debris that monster trout love. He has a great respect for the natural habitat that exists here and uh, tremendous reverence for keeping it and maintaining it. By narrowing the stream banks and strategically placing massive boulders and other structures, stream velocities tripled. Rainbow and brown trout were colonizing these lunker holes only days after they were created. Rodney and I are both involved in the youth camp, and he started the year we moved out here with him. We spend a whole week with the students. You got to get kids back involved in the outdoors. What did you all get here yesterday in the big snapper? Yeah, I care about this a lot. But who's going to do it next? I consider Rod to be a leader of leaders. We have youth that come into the camp that want to learn about conservation and fly fishing. When we connect the two, it's really great to see the kids light up. Overall, it's such a great experience. Ever since then, I've just kind of been involved with helping out and volunteering with projects like this. Project Healing Waters is focused on fly fishing with the wounded warriors. It's proved to be very therapeutic. Rod has been a consistent in-water companion since we started the program. My role with that is just to show up and be an in-stream companion uh, to a soldier. Talk to them, find out what their experience is, what they like to do, how they like to fish. And really, honestly, you don't ask them what their limitations are. It, it seems to be a non-factor. You can see it, a, a transformation in their personality and how they project. It's, uh, it's really beneficial. Rod gets a lot of satisfaction. He really does. When he gets into something, he gets his heart into it, he's really able to uh, energize people with that. He's just one of these people that just captures your heart and never leaves it go. No one could pick a better person than Rod. He's everyone's friend and he treats everyone as his 
best friend. I want to make sure that the message is it's not me. It's me and my friends and my associates and my community that's made this possible. I'm speaking for a lot of people. Thanks to the vision and hard work of Rod Cross and his legion of volunteers, rod building, dream making, wild rainbow and brown trout will thrive here for years to come. For Rod Cross, it wasn't enough to rest on the laurels of history and heritage. For a hero of conservation, what matters most is the future. On the next webisode, Rod and I mix business with pleasure. So Rod, it looks like a whole lot of activities going on right here. We'll wade into falling spring to work on ways to remove trout suffocating mud and muck. Here's the bad stuff, silt. And sample some of Pennsylvania's legendary and demanding fly fishing. Rod, this is one fishy looking piece of water here.